take a look at the damage this thing caused. Precinct 7 officers tell us that this all started when the driver of that 18-wheeler fell asleep. He then hit barrels as you come to the exit ramp here on the feeder road just down there. And then his truck caught on fire. And then the boat that he was carrying caught on fire as well. You come back here to this boat, you can see all of the damage here. The truck destroyed, the twin engine boat destroyed as well. Let's see what it looked like from Sky Eye. The fire could actually be seen for several miles. Officials say a second vehicle was very close to the 18-wheeler when this fire started, but that driver is okay, as is the driver of the 18-wheeler. He is okay. The fire burned, uh, blocked traffic for several miles. Both the main eastbound lanes of the Beltway South are closed, uh, as were the eastbound feeder lane roads. They all had to be shut down. And as you can imagine, this is no place to have to fight a massive fire on the Beltway. It presented a big problem. All our companies did an excellent job as far as getting in, um, stopping traffic, getting a, a, a heavy water supply across, uh, five inch late across the feeder road and onto the freeway. Now, we did call the shipping company that was hauling this boat, but officials there would only tell us they were based out of Florida. They said they couldn't give us any information. In fact, we were some of the first people to call and tell them that there had been a problem out here. So we don't know what kind of boat this is or who the owner was. A passerby said this was a 46-footer, but again, it does have twin engines. It was wrapped for transit. It could have been brand new. It simply could have been wrapped to protect it while in transit. We don't know where it was coming from, and we don't know where it was going, and we don't know who will own the boat, but the good news out here is that everybody is okay. But as you can see, the traffic lanes of the Beltway remain shut down. However, within the last half hour, they did open up the feeder road. Those lanes are getting by, but boy, traffic is messed up for quite some time around here, guys.